What is up guys? Jake here with the next Vainglory video. Again, I'm playing Taka on this one, but as you see in the title, this is a team match. This is me, Whistle This, which you guys might or might not know. He used to be in 2.0, and also he is the co-host of the Bye Forever show with Rigoletto. So if you know uh, that show or if you listen to that podcast, you're going to know who Whistle This is. Also, Yog12 there is just a guy that I guess watches the channel. We picked up, uh, asked to be in the in the guild. Obviously, he's with us, and we have played together several times. Not that we're on TeamSpeak or anything. We're just communicating through pings and, and whatnot in the game. But, you know, it's, this is the difference of having a competent team versus a solo queue, and who knows what you're going to get. You're going to see how much better this one goes and how you know we're working as a team better and it makes a huge huge difference in the game so again i encourage you guys if at all possible if you have friends that play or whatever you're just going to have a better more enjoyable experience if you play with people and communicate and uh, get to know each other's play styles and whatnot so obviously he's using fortress i am using uh, taka and then uh whistle this is always ringo we come over and just immediately steal their farm. You know, we catch them over here. We see this right here. Uh, we actually get that one as well. They're retreating as soon as they see both of us because they're separated. They're not working together. They're probably not a team. They're just three people in the solo queue. Uh, so we steal a little bit of their farm and then just get to work on our own. Uh, just continuing to farm. You know, again, early gameplay is, that's why I'm fast forwarding through it times two. Uh, pretty boring. You just, you know, you want to focus on your farm. You want to control your jungle and steal some of theirs when you can. And also you'll see we always rotate up to help Ringo out. You know, if they're pushing, obviously they have two people in the lane for most of this and he's just by himself. So we like to run up, grab a gank when we can right there. You see we get Adagio and run Ringo off. So now uh, whistle this is be able to set back he can, he can reset he can run back to his to grab store if he needs to whatever as soon as we cycle through like that he's taken care of and we we get kills and or run them off i am modifying my build just a little bit you'll see that uh, there i'm not going tension bow is i'm going to try this for a while and i am like it i'm more going towards sorrow blade and just getting straight weapon uh attack damage simply because someone said something and it made sense to me the tension bow is a fixed amount. It's that, I think it's 150 or 180 damage. And that's great early game. I mean, it absolutely wrecks people early game. But you see right here, Ringo again, Adagio, they, have, they killed uh, Whistle This. So we come up, uh, run them off. Just cycle, as part of our cycle of our farming, we're not really missing any time here, uh, getting them out of the way and helping him out. Again, though, uh, the weapon, uh, the tension bow is really good early game, but it doesn't scale real well late game when people have more defense, they have more hit points, all of that. It's still just that fixed damage amount. So thinking about that, uh, we catch, uh, what is it here? This is Kashka uh, slipping and, and she tries to retreat. I think we might end up getting her here. Yeah, I think we end up getting her. You see that Ringo took out uh, Adagio up there. And I think Whistle This runs up and finishes the job there. No, she gets away on this one. For some reason, I thought we got that kill. Uh, Whistle This, or excuse me, Yoga, not Whistle This, uh, took, or Yo Yog, not Yoga. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, took quite a bit of damage there, but he's fine. Uh, but anyways, to finish my thought, I keep uh, interrupting myself on these uh, these little skirmishes we have. It just seems like in game, you're more powerful with Sorrow Blade. Early game, you're more power with powerful with Tension Bow. So it sort of depends on, but I just went with Heavy Steel and on that road to Sorrow Blade. And I've, I've been pretty pretty beastly in late game uh, kills. So hopefully it'll, it'll continue and we'll see if I, I like that. Again, we cycle back up here. We catch them coming way too aggressive. Go ahead and grab Ringo real quickly. And that's another thing about being on a team. You sort of work together. You know... Uh, that your your teammate is going to attack the right person each time. That makes a huge difference, guys. If all if you get in a skirmish and everyone's attacking someone different or someone's attacking the tank that's ready for that, it makes a big difference whether you do that or take out the DPS first and then go from there. So uh, we get Ringo taken care of, back everything up, and then just get back to our farm here. Uh, right here, just grabbing, cleaning everything up. You see a Adagio up there and Ringo back. They're really pressing the lane hard. And Whistle This was doing a good job of holding them off. I mean, you have two on one like that. Uh, as long as he can keep those, like we talked about in the Saw video, keep those minions at bay, the, the 
turret will pretty much keep the lane under control, but that's not always easy to do when you've got two on one. Uh, we kill both of them here, and then so we see an opportunity to come up and take out the turret, so we're going to do that. Kashka tries to come up and stop us, uh, does end up getting a hold of uh, Whistle This Ringo and taking him out, uh, but pretty much the damage is done here. You know, we got a good bit of damage on the turret. Our minions are in there hitting on the turret. We got a new wave coming, uh, so pretty, pretty effective there, honestly. Uh, I get back down and start farming. I'm low on life here, and unluckily, this stupid mine kills me there. I probably should have been a little more careful. I was just grabbing that farm, didn't really pay any attention, and boom, it takes me out. So I go back, uh, check out, check the store. I don't think I buy anything there, though. Is it about? Yeah, I'm about a swift shooter, uh, just to increase that attack speed. And then we just get back to the farm. When I come back in here, there's already a battle going on. They were trying to get the gold mine. So I jump in, use my ultimate, take out uh, Ringo and then Adagio. We just smoke them on this fight and then take the gold mine uh, and run them off back up to their turret. So awesome job there. Uh, got that. They they really had mines. Their, their uh, support class was really placing a lot of mines, which is good. It's what your support class needs to do. It gives you vision. It gives you free damage on them. Sometimes it can make a difference in a fight. So uh, we just get back to farming and then we're going to cycle up here in just a minute again to check the lane. Make sure that our boy Ringo is okay. Uh, right there, taking those guys down. Uh, letting uh, Me and Yager have gotten our cycle pretty well. He always has to take the last hit. He's got the contract. Uh, but now with my ultimate and having that you know, increased damage, we're taking them out really quickly when we catch him slipping out here. Uh, then you see right there Ringo throwing his ultimate, trying to finish him off. Didn't quite get it done. Kashka comes up, which is a mistake. I've got my ultimate back up. She goes down real quickly. Uh, so right there you see that uh, Yog used his ultimate, those Hounds ran up in there, but they went down pretty quickly to the turret. Uh, we're trying to press here and finish off this turret, I believe. We know that we've got a two on or three on one. And with Adagio having that low of life, I knew if he just got right there in range just a little bit, I uh, used my ultimate on him. I'm low on health, but we can get the job done and get the turret taken care of. So we get all of them dead. Turret's down. We're going to go right back down. You see Ringo needs to go to the store. Uh, we'll go back to our farming here. Uh, I stop off at the store and I start to buy, I think I start to buy defense here because I'm We'll get in these fights. Got my energy battery up. I got my coat of plates. Uh, so tier two uh, armor, which is good. We catch Kashko over here slipping. She tries to fight back, but three on one, she goes down really quick. Again, guys, team versus not team. You see us working together in this in this match, how much difference it makes. Uh, huge difference. These guys are up here in the lane doing their own thing. They're going to get wrecked now because they're pushing way too far with no idea what's going on in the jungle or where we're at. Uh, just get crushed. So both of them go down. We get all three of them. Again, just controlling the jungle, controlling the lane. Everything's going our way at this point. We're obviously beating them on gold and on farm and on uh, all of that. We're starting to, to outpace them, which, again, late game makes all the difference in the world. Uh, uh, Yog catches, who is it over here? I believe it's, I can't even see that, uh, Kashka. Uh, we do take her down pretty quick, you know, and get back to stealing their, their jungle and their minion mine at this point. Uh, so again, pretty dominant at, at this point. You see I've got six kills, uh, one death, and seven assists. Gringo comes down. Uh, not sure why he would do that. He goes down uh, pretty quick here, but they do get uh, Yogg, and I just go ahead and peel out. I didn't want to fight Adagio with that low of life, but you see that our uh, Ringo comes down, Whistle This comes down to help out. Uh, again, just playing as a team. You know, He sees we're having a struggle or our fight down there and someone died. He comes to see if he can help us out. I go ahead and get my tier three armor. They're going, I think, pretty heavy on weapon damage, if I remember right. I didn't, this game has been a few, it was at least yesterday, maybe the day before when I played it, so I don't remember, it's not fresh in my mind, but pretty sure they were almost all going weapon damage. So having that tier three armor, I am very tanky to them at this point. Uh, Kashka runs off, but not far enough. I jump, I get a little lag there, but I jump on Ringo, take him out, and then Kashka's right there. Uh, she finally, I think, gets me right there. Yep, gets me taken care of, but I did get the kill. Not sure if that was a great trade, but oh well, it's what happened. Here I go ahead and buy Aegis, so I've got tier three, um, I've got tier three armor and tier three shield. So now I'm really tanky. These guys, I think it's what it was. Kashka was crystal power. The other guys were weapon damage. So now I've got enough armor to deal with both of them. I can finish off my sorrow blade next. So I've got to start saving up for that. But, you know, really, I was they were going down so quickly, I didn't feel the need to rush Sorrow Blade. You see how quick I'm taking them down there? I don't think they have any defensive uh, capabilities. So just a few hits really, really smokes them. Uh, and now I'm so tanky, they're really going to start struggling with, with taking us out. 
uh, get my ultimate back up. I'm tr we're trying to just bait them out, pull them away from that turret. They oblige us for some reason. Uh, so we jump on Kashka. Uh, you see Ringo taking a few shots at her, and I think she goes down here in just a second. Yep, there goes Kashka, and now we're jumping on Adagio. And again, my ultimate back up, boom, uh, he goes down right there. So again, when someone's doing that and we're backing up, backing up, it's not because we're scared. It's because we wanted them away from that turret, and they just did it for us. I'm low life. Uh, Ringo's got the the blade under control. I just call back, and I don't think I even bought anything there. Just went back, got my energy back up, got my life back up, and get back to the farm with my boy Yogg. Uh, Fortress, I've, I I enjoy playing with him on, on Paka. I don't know if that's a, a well, like a, a really good pair or a traditionally a good pair, but we do well together. And the three of us have, have been very successful in our battles that we've had so far. Again, Ringo and Adagio just push for as hard as they can. They do get our turret, but they pay for it. I think we take out both of them here. If I get my ultimate back up, I can't remember. Yeah, we take them both out right there. Uh, Yodge goes ahead and finishes them off. I do actually with my ultimate there. Uh, get them taken out. That turret's hitting us, but no big deal. Right here, Kashka comes in. And again, this is the sort of the telltale thing of what you always see when people are not on a team and they're just in the solo queue. We we take out two, we, we take them out two on two, and then Kashka shows up for a one on two and gets killed. It's just constantly having the advantage. Uh, when you go up against another team, it's not going to be that way, but at least you don't have, you're don't you not at a disadvantage. Uh, so we steal their farm, steal their minion mine. Uh, let's see. I think we push in right here. Things are getting close to the end. Uh, they come up. I jump on Adagio. He goes almost down, but I had to get out of there because that turret had me targeted. You see Ringo just doing work on that turret. That was awesome. Very smart by him, while me and Fortress are just sort of occupying the other, those other uh heroes. Uh, I jump on Kashka, hit her a few times. I have to back out here getting low on life. And we all just sort of say, okay, the damage is done. We're, we're hurt. Let's just get out of here, regroup, and come back. I've got the money for my Sorrow Blade now. It just got serious. Uh, when you get that much damage and that much tanking on uh, Taka, and you're going up against guys that aren't you know, very high, highly skilled players like we are here, you see Adagio just coming out all the way into our uh, lane, our, our jungle for I guess to think he was going to grab that minion. We were all alive. I don't know what he was thinking. And then they're just hanging out over here. Kashka pulls the pins. He's just a th uh, two on uh, three and just leaves Ringo there to take one for the team. She runs off. We go ahead and grab the Kraken. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. She just bailed on him. Uh, so right here, Kraken goes down real easily. I run down and I, I thought I had enough for that last uh, ability that I wanted. I can't remember what it, what it was. But I kind of backtrack here to get it, and I, I thought it was 1800, I guess, or something. I don't remember what I was thinking. I wanted that tornado trigger, and I actually turn around and go back here after this minion mine goes down, and I was kicking myself because, <coughs> excuse me, guys, because I, it wasn't enough. So I just wasted time there. They're in a fight. I try to hurry and get back up here. But because we've outpaced them so bad, even with a two on three, uh, they can hold out long enough for me to get there. And once I do, the, you know, it changes everything. Put a lot of damage on him. You see Ringo shooting on me, but again, because I'm so tanky, he wasn't even able to take me down, just beating on me. Uh, we get the ace. We got the cracking up, and that is GG. We're going to come in. We're cheersing it up. We're going to come in, take out the turrets, and then take out the vein. Uh, so I hope you like that, guys. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight of how a team looks when you're actually sort of all on the same page and working together. Uh, again, it makes a tremendous difference. Uh, I highly encourage you to join a guild, uh, do, you know, even if you don't know the people. Get online. I'm sure there's places that, you know, websites that you can find to, you know, find a guild, get on Twitter, do something and, and get a group that you play with. I think you're going to have just such a better experience. It's not as frustrating. Even if you lose, you know that it wasn't just because you because of stupidity. Uh, right there, you see the stats. Let's see. What did I end up with? 16, 2 and 9. So not bad. Uh, pretty good game there. Give everybody a thumbs up. Hope you guys liked it. Till next time, Jake reminded you guys to suck less.